Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. I've got a quick word tip for you today, something that you can do in Word 2013, Word 2016, or Word Online. So I'm here in Word 2013, and I want to show you how to get the word account of my document. So by default, you might already have the word count visible on your screen here. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see here I have 280 words. If you right click, let's say you didn't have that word count available on your bottom bar, you can find it in the menu here and you can see that I have a checkbox next to mine. So that's why it's visible. If you don't have it, just go ahead and right click on your bottom bar and use the checkbox to enable it. Now you can also go to your review tab and click the word count button in the ribbon. That just gives you some even more in-depth information about your document. So you see your word count, as well as number of characters, paragraphs, and so on. So now let's go over to Word Online. Let me copy this text here. Now I'm here in Word Online. I'll paste my text. And you can see in the lower left, I have that exact same menu item. It says 277 words, which if you looked closely or you remember from Word 2013, it said 280. So that just goes to show that this is an approximation. Word count isn't always exact, and it doesn't take into account things like text in text boxes, headers and footers, and that kind of thing. So that's definitely something that you want to keep in mind. And in Word Online, you don't have the option to get that more comprehensive view of the number of characters and paragraphs and so on. Just a limitation of Word Online. So hope that tip helps if you're looking for your word count of your document. For more tips and tricks like this one in Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.